A Felicity family wakes up to disaster after flames tear through their home. The father pulls his four children from the smoke as two women who he doesn't even know race over to help. Nine on your side's John Genovese spoke with one of them tonight and joins us now. John? Julie, those kids, including an infant, were taken to Children's Hospital and at last check we're told they are in stable condition. But if not for the help of two strangers, this all could have ended very differently. It's the last thing they expected to see. It was crazy. Flames tearing through this Felicity home. Tiffany Ferris and her coworker were in a nearby parking lot. They spotted the blaze, then rushed to help. She goes and grabs the kids while they're coming out, and I'm on the phone with 911 telling them the whole, whole back of the house was engulfed in flames. The mother was at work. Dad woke up to the smoke, broke through a window, and began pulling his four kids out one by one. They were like completely like black from all the smoke and everything. Tiffany and her co-workers stood near the window, holding the children and doing what they could. It was just grab the kids and try to make them warm because they weren't really dressed to be out in the cold. They were sleeping in bed. The youngest, just 20 months old. The um, baby, actually, when they got him out, he was like going in and out breathing. He wasn't breathing constantly. So my manager, she uh, gave the baby CPR. And then when the ambulance got there, they started giving him oxygen. He was airlifted to Children's Hospital. The other children taken there by ambulance. Fire officials say the home is a total loss. Investigators now sifting through the debris. The cause still unknown. We've contacted the uh, state fire marshal. Uh, just to assist with the investigation. Tiffany hopes to see the family again. I have a Christmas tree I'm going to get for them whenever they find a place, and I'm going to go buy presents because I, there's nothing left for their house. A good deed, she says, that comes down to just doing their part. And I feel like it was what everyone else would do when they see a house fire on four little kids, you know. I, of course, I'm going to call 911. It was my, not, my first 911 call ever. And that call appears to have paid off again. All four of those kids are expected to be okay. Investigators tell us so far there does not appear to be anything suspicious about that fire. But, Julie, we should learn more about that cause in the coming days. We'll stay on top of it. Thanks, John.